Senator Cruz, you and Senator Rubio are the two candidates of Hispanic descent on this stage. As a matter of fact, you are the first Hispanic candidate ever to win a caucus or primary. And yet there is the, and yet there is the perception in the Latino community that instead of trying to prove to Latinos who has the best plan, the best platform to help them, that you two are spending the time arguing with each other, trying to figure out which one is tougher on immigration in order to appeal to the majority of Republicans. So my question to you is, are you missing a huge opportunity to expand the Republican base? Well, Maria, listen, you are right. It is extraordinary that out of five people standing on this stage, that two of us are the children of Cuban immigrants. It really is an embodiment of the incredible opportunity and promise this nation provides. Uh, you know, I would note that a lot of folks in the media have a definition of Hispanics, that you can only be Hispanic if you're liberal. Uh, that makes sense in the media, but I got to tell you, one of the things I was most proud of, when I ran for Senate here in Texas, I earned 40% of the Hispanic vote here in Texas. At the same time, Mitt Romney was getting clobbered with 27% of the Hispanic vote nationwide. And the reason is, as you know, you look at the values in the Hispanic community. The values in our community are faith, family, patriotism. You know, we've got the highest rate of military enlistment among Hispanics of any demographic in this country. And when I campaigned, and I campaigned the same here in Houston or Dallas as I did down in the Rio Grande Valley, defending conservative principles, defending Judeo-Christian principles, telling my father's story, telling my dad's story of coming to America with $100 in his underwear, not speaking English, washing dishes, having hopes and dreams for the American dream. And the truth is, the Obama-Clinton economy has done enormous damage to the Hispanic community. It is not working in the Hispanic community. And I am fighting so that everyone who is struggling in the Hispanic community and beyond will have a fair and even shape at the American dream. No, no, Governor, sorry, Kasich, I was Governor Kasich. Maria, I was mentioned tonight. I was mentioned Governor in that Kasich, statement. Governor after the. Uh, I what? was mentioned just because it's a Hispanic, I'll, and I'll be brief. A couple points. Number one, uh, I do think it's amazing that on the stage tonight, there are two descendants of immigrants of Cuban origin and an African American. We are the party of diversity, not the Democratic Party. And the second point I would make is that. We have to move past this idea that somehow the Hispanic community only cares about immigration. Yes, it's an important issue because we know and love people that have been impacted by it. But I'm going to tell you the most powerful sentiment in the Hispanic community, as it is in every immigrant community, is the burning desire to leave your children better off than yourself. And you can only do that through free enterprise. That's what we stand for, not socialism like Bernie Sanders and increasingly Hillary Clinton. <clears throat>